Check it out. It's making a heat shield. I'll show you why. So I've noticed um, a few times while I was hovering that the engine would suddenly get super, super rich. Here's my theory is that uh, anytime you have a tailwind or a crosswind from the right, the fan for the engine is on the bottom. So that fan sucks air up through the shroud and then it blows out here, here, and all of this right here. It blows that hot air out. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the hot air coming off the cylinders is going straight to the carbs. Terrible, terrible for the engines. That's why uh, cold air intakes and stuff like that exists. So I'm kind of making a uh, cold air intake from a helicopter. A couple of things that it did, the, uh, the coils, they don't like to get hot either. Uh, electronics don't like to get hot, obviously. Um, so they are now about two inches away from the cylinder heads. The cylinder heads have more room to breathe. There's and then also there's no more direct line of sight um, for the hot gas to go directly to the carbs. It can obviously still reach it. If I was to do it again, I would probably make this a little bit taller, maybe up to here. But um, I think it's better than nothing and I can always add to it later. I can just make a little extension and rivet it on here and I could even probably curl it up. But I'm trying to compromise between uh, giving a good amount of airflow for the heat to still escape while also um, protecting the carbs from sucking in some of the hot air from the engine. Um, so I think it's better than nothing and it's also gonna make these coils last probably, probably last longer um, because they're not taking that heat directly, directly from the engine anymore. Overall, I think it's uh, pretty cool. It was a pretty fun little modification, didn't cost me anything. And uh, it might make a difference, might not, we'll see. I've made uh, an adjustment to one of the pitch links. So we'll see. I think I finally might have went too far. Yeah. I'm gonna adjust that pitch link back to where it was. Yep, so this is what you gotta do. You gotta go past uh, the point where you know it's good, just to make sure it's the best it can be. And then you gotta once you know you've gone too far, go back to where it was. Much better. Yeah, so that's what I came out here to test today. Um, with these air filters that I have on here, the carb is running just slightly rich. Uh, I ordered main jets because I noticed this before in one of my other hover tests. When it's really hot outside, um, and there's very little wind the EG the motor runs too rich and I think some of the heat from the motor is also getting to the carbs and that makes it run even more rich but EGT range is between 1100 and 1200 and I'm sitting about a thousand on EGT it's not hurting it's just running rich so basically anytime that I'm full throttle on it the main jet is too rich I ordered new main jets to correct the issue and they're supposed to be here in like two or three days, so that'll that'll solve my problem. It, I ordered two different sizes. 205s are in there now. I ordered 200s and 195s to bring the EGTs between 1100 and 1200. 1150 would be ideal because it would give me max power and uh, 
you know, max power is good, especially when I'm in a density altitude of this this uh, this high. Shoot, but for now, I'll play around do some more hovering. I'm not going to damage anything, but I'm also not going to take it up and send it and then have my uh, carb start to run rich on me in the air and droop my rotor. That would really suck. Here's some things I've noticed. The belt tension in my garage at 80, 90 degrees is a lot looser. And then when I get out here and everything gets hot, the belt tension increases a little. But I think I've, I've got the good middle ground where it's like maybe at the bottom of the, the range for tension in my garage. And then out here it's pretty ideal. Everything looks good. My little heat shroud seems to be working good. It's not cutting my spark plug wires or anything. Another super fun hover session with the Mosquito Air. Each time I get better and better and more comfortable flying this thing. And it's so much fun. Yeah, the only issue I have to correct now is the main jet size on the carburetors. Uh, I think at lower altitudes this would be fine, the jetting would be fine, but here it's just so high here that the carb is running rich. It starts to run rich when I'm when I'm riding that main jet in the carb. And then uh, the EGTs just start to drop and then the motor starts to lose power as it begins to run richer and richer. And then uh, I have to set it down get into the mid-range again 
on the throttle and then uh, and then the EGTs come back up within range and it's good so new main jets on the way throw those in that'll give me a little bit more power and uh, I think we'll be good to go thanks for watching peace